Hello, my friends. Please listen carefully to this uh, to this reasoning, if I can call it reasoning or hypothesis. So, right now, uh, scientific realism says that the universe is a result of, uh, amongst many theories, but basically the universe evolves from the quantum vacuum, and in that field are what are called quantum fluctuations, the impermanent, evanescent, transient, ungraspable, unless you use a hadron collider, appearance of uh, uh, particles that uh, unpredictably coalesce ultimately to create what we call the physical universe. Now listen to this carefully. How does one know that there is a particle? There has to be an experience, a knowing that there's a particle before it is named boson, Higgs boson, whatever, gluon, um, quark, etc., etc. These are names given to human modes of knowing. And these modes of knowing are just sensations, sense perceptions, images, feelings, thoughts. They are fluctuations of awareness that we then call elementary particles building the so-called physical universe. But actually, every quantum fluctuation is a qualia fluctuation, quality of experience, as the acronym SIFT, sensations, images, feelings, thoughts. So once you understand that, then you realize that what we call the physical universe, including that which we call our physical body, is a concept, a construction. Your body is a conceptual body. The universe that you experience is a conceptual universe. And who or what is doing the conception, the production, the choreography, the transformation of this universe and ultimately even the destruction and resurrection is the true self, the self of the individual, which is also the self of the universe. This has huge implications as we embark on our longevity experiment. Thank you.